Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin and um, I'm going to be talking about a company called Lamb Research today. Um, right now it's about close to 70 in Oceanside, it's a beautiful day, no winds, just crazy cool weather and I'm enjoying it out here and I hope you're enjoying it wherever you reside. Uh, I'm, once again, I'm going to talk about Lamb Research. Um, I believe it's Another name for it is the next NVIDIA. Um, this is a really big deal, this video I'm creating today. So hopefully you'll pay attention and, and learn a lot. Um, I believe it'll be the backbone of AI 2.0 based on where it's going right now. Um, on December 26, right after Christmas, um, I purchased three shares of Lamb Research and I paid about $783.04 per share. Um, the total I invested in this company was $2,349.12. Uh, um, I, I did a lot of research on this company and felt it was a good investment. And fast forward to March 20th, uh, which is uh, one day shy of me making this video, but it's just about over 11 weeks. And now they're $949.08 a share, so it went up. Um, the total value um, right now is $2,847, at least my stake in the investment. Um, right now, my current profit is about $498, or, or you can also say I'm up 21% from my original seed uh, that I put in 11 weeks ago. So that's not bad. So Lamb Research basically is a key player in the semiconductor industry, and they supply wafer fabrication support equipment and services. Um, their products are crucial for processes like uh, thin film deposition, plasma etch, photo resist strip, and wafer cleaning. I originally wasn't going to say that, but as, a, as an investor, you might want to at least know the basics of what they do. Um, this company is in like the perfect position right now to build the backbone for um, AI 2.0. And there is a good chance, like I said before, it has a chance to become the next NVIDIA. Um, if you, if you missed out on NVIDIA, this could be your second chance. Um, I'm going to mention one fact about Cisco uh, and work up to LAM research. Um, you guys might have remembered Cisco when it boomed in the 90s. Um, back, a lot of people didn't believe in Cisco. They didn't think routers were a big deal. But the, the stock actually made 67,491% profit um, just in the 90s. And... If you if you invested a thousand dollars into Cisco before they exploded, you would have made six hundred and seventy thousand um, dollars. Many experts believe that Lamb Research will be the next Cisco of artificial intelligence. Um, if you miss if you miss Cisco or Nvidia, this could be your chance to to make a move in what could be uh, the next one. Um, Lamb Research is building the backbone of the AI industry is only about one tenth the size of Nvidia right now. So so it's still early in the game for for Lamb Research. Um, although they've made some great, you know, partnerships, they're 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 really not they're not even close to their full potential. Um, there's a strong possibility that these shares can rise to the size of Nvidia based on their use case and, and what they're doing. Um, and and if, if this happens, you can get a nice sweet 10x on your investment. Um, the masses haven't caught on to it yet, but but Wall Street does know, and um, right now Vanguard allocated 7.6 billion dollars. To this company, uh, BlackRock invested just over seven billion, and J.P. Morgan Stanley has invested 2.2 billion. So these are major players that are involved in this. Um, the expansion of AI is completely dependent on the memory chips Lamb Research produces. See, there's two parts of AI. There's the GPUs, I think they call them graphical processing units, and then there's the memory chips. Well, Lamb Research. It, NVIDIA actually makes the GPUs, LAM Research makes the memory chips, which is the other part of, of, of what they need, the companies need in, in the AI 2.0, uh, and what they're, they're going to require the memory chips also, and that's what um, LAM Research does. So, um, um, they play a critical role in storing and retrieving data in electronic devices from computers, smartphones, appliances and cars you, these are all multi multi billion dollar industries and there's not just one of them they support they support four different multi multi billion dollar industries so you could kind of see where their use case is um, you know so, some of the um, companies that they're supporting are the largest companies around um, with the expansion of AI more machines will come out that use these chips 
So as AI grows, which it will, every a lot of people speculate it'll be a $47 trillion industry, which is like 47,000 billion, if you can imagine that kind of number, uh, within by around 2030. Um, so the demand for these chips will produce an a surge in demand for machines that use these chips. So the companies that make the machines that use what the chips that the memory chips that LAM research provides will also go up, you know, go up in value. Um, and it, it, because AI is going to be so big, and, and right now it's one of the lar world's largest manufacturers of semiconductor equipment. Um, I mentioned a little earlier that they supply wafer fabrication equipment and services vital to semiconductor um, production. Their product range includes film deposition, plasma etch, photo resist strip, and wafer cleaning processes. I might have mentioned that before. Um, their chips power computers, smart phones, gaming consoles, and electronic devices. You know how big gaming is. Um, of course, smartphones are crazy big. Um, so in 2022, 55% of its revenue stemmed from machines used in the production of memory chips. That's more than any other chip equipment manufacturer. Um, according to LAM CEO Tim Archer, every 1% increase in AI servers and data centers needed is expected to drive up to 1.5 billion of additional equipment investment. Um, this creates a tremendous opportunity for LAM research because they're gonna be right in the center of all this. Um, they have an excellent tr track record of excellent uh, etch profiles because they're, they're, they're like the top country, uh, co they're the top company in the industry for producing memory chips. Um, and, and etch profiles is a specialized technology they use behind their memory chips and no one's been able to match their 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 level of wafer support and, and they're and they're basically building these type of chips. They help the company grow into the market share leader in its segment because they're so good at what they do. In other words, they are the best in their niche, like I just said. Um, LAM Research maintains its market share. It, I mean, assuming if they maintain or reach its market share, the growth in its available market could help turn LAM Research into the next NVIDIA. Um, while memory chip demand will surge with AI, um, they'll still probably be used in computers and they're still primarily used in, piece, in uh, computers and smartphones at the moment, but that's still a multi, multi, multi billion dollar industry. Think about Bill Gates and how his net worth of almost what, 180 billion or something just from selling computers, you know, and then Apple has a mega net worth for selling smartphones. So you're talking about two mega, mega industries that, that they're already producing chips for. Um, if LAM manages to match NVIDIA by trading at a 100x multiple, then by 2026, LAM's shares could reach as high as about 6000 just a little over $6,000 per share. Um, now, this would be a 908% increase over LAM's current price, or a, basically a, uh, could be a 10x gain in about three years, or, um, or at least five at the most. Um, if the stock goes too high, there's a good chance LAM Research will will have a stock split. A lot of companies do it, like Warren Buffett's company. He, they did a stock split but because their shares used to be like 500 grand. And when I looked online the other day, they were selling like Class C shares for like 508 each. So the ones who had those mega, you know, 508 grand probably have a ton more because of a stock split or, or multiple stock splits. Um, so... This will leave you with double the shares you purchased. Um, right now, I own three shares of LAM Research. It's not a lot, but if I come in more money when the crypto bull market rises, I'm probably gonna throw some more in there because, I mean, it might not be as heavy as some of these crypto gains. I'll be honest, some of these crypto gains can go up to 50 to 100X, but there, 10X is, is great. You know, when you put in 10,000 into a company, you come out with 100 grand, that ain't bad. Um, so if I run into some extra money, I'll buy up to 10 shares, like I said before, or even more. Um, and I want to try to buy them before the split happens. If they have a split, I'll still look at the company a little bit, but I, I'm more or less trying to buy the shares before the split happens, the stock split. Um, right now I'm pretty over allocated in crypto and some other stocks, and which is why I can't really do it right now, but I'm actually focusing on high growth crypto stocks right now, which I'll go over in, in other videos, but. I'll work up to that. I, I got a lot to tell you about a couple other stocks first. Um, 
but I will be talking about that within the next couple weeks. Um, I can't give you advice, but if you want to give your portfolio a nice little bump, um, this stock is something to, that I would look at at least. Um, I can't advise you what to do, but it's something that I looked at and I felt it was a good investment. Um, so on the next video, I'm going to re reveal my third and final AI stock play. Um, it's another artificial, because I own three artificial intelligence stocks. I talked about the first one in the last video, Taiwan Semiconductor. I'm talking about LAM Research now. In the next video, I'll talk about my third play. Um, I should have this out probably, well, today is Thursday, so I, I should have it out hopefully by Saturday at the latest, I'm hoping. So unless I get mixed up in some emergency or something. Um, don't expect it, but you never know what life is going to bring you. Um, so last thing I want to say, if you like this content, please subs please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of good alpha to give you, a lot of good plays in the crypto market coming up that, that are going to be rock solid plays. Um, so if you want to make money and stack serious cheese, I'm, I'm the person you want to listen to, or at least one of them. Um, there's others that know what they're doing too, but I'm the one that's going to give you the real deal without BSing around and, and you know, I don't promote speculative play. Well, they're all speculative, but I don't, I, I promote stuff that has a really, really good chance of actually doing what they say they're going to do. Um, and the results I've had over the last few months since I gotten re-involved in the crypto space kind of prove that. I'll kind of qualify what I'm saying. I was actually introduced to crypto around late 2016 and, and I was trying, someone tried to get me to purchase Neo stock at around 17 cents each, right? Before opened and I was too stupid to do that and I could have been a multimillionaire if I had just put a couple grand in but I didn't know any better I was brand new I thought it was a scam like a lot of people so when people tell me all this negative stuff I don't take it personal because I understand I was there at one point and then when I finally woke up and realized this is the place crypto is a place to be and in high growth tech stocks are the place to be also that's when I kind of wised up and I let everybody have their opinion and I have mine and I know I'm gonna be a multimillionaire you know within at least the very most three five years and i'm willing to help you get there all you have to do is look, subscribe to my free channel listen to my videos it's pretty much all right there um so all i can say at this point is um have an incredible day and i will be in touch with my next or my third ai 2.0 stock play have an incredible day and thank you very much Bye bye